Hello everyone, and this is Stryker from Battle Tendency bringing you my first impressions video of Forza Horizon 3 Ultimate Edition. So let's get started. Ooh, snap. Do I know what I'm starting in? Oh, I'm starting in the Centenario. Ooh, oh, yes, I get to start off in the, uh, the showcase car. Well, they do that for every Forza. They did it with the Viper and Forza Horizon 1. And they did it with the uh, Lamborghini Huracan in Forza Horizon 2, but uh, oh my god, these graphics. Uh, I'm drooling right now because I've been playing Forza Horizon 1 a lot more than I have uh, Forza Horizon 2. So uh, going back to these crazy looking graphics is like, oh my god. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. And that, oh my god, is a Koenigsegg 1. Oh, I finally get to buy that car. Ooh. Look at all these trees. Oh, trees. I'll talk about that a little later. I have a few things to say about trees in this game. <laughs> I'll have them later. Uh, my driving is a little off right now. I'm going to see if I can still catch up to that red Ferrari up front. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to take this lead. Still behind the one, and that dude just took off. Oh my god, look at all these curves. This this car is not meant for wait, 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 what's happening? What's happening? No, no, don't, no, don't leave me. Oh, I'm stuck with this piece of shit now. Uh. I've never been a big fan of the whole off-road thing, but uh, they introduced it in Forza Horizon 2 as cross-country. It didn't really pique my interest, but I was kind of hoping they'd not push it as much in the Forza Horizon 3 game, and uh, I was highly mistaken. If anything, they pushed the, uh, the whole off-road thing a little more. So I'm just like, eh, I'll do it for the storyline, but if I have to go into multiplayer, I'm a, you won't find me on anywhere other than Tarmac, because I, I have my reasons. It's not because I'm a hater or anything. It's just I have my own reasons for not wanting to go off-road. But, uh, you know, I like having a set path, like having everywhere to go. Like, you can literally cut anyone off anywhere, and it's just... It is creative. It is creative. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, not being able to go more than you know 130 miles an hour is really frustrating for me. That's why I bought a racing game. But it's whatever. Ooh, we made it. How can we not talk about? No, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong thing. Oh, <laughs> that's so messed up. Going into the sunset with that. Ah, oh, baby, come back. You can blame it on oh, oh, me. Please let me have that car back. Oh, <laughs> I want you back. I want you back in my life. I don't want that truck. Truck is shit. All right, here we go. The intro to the festival. You know, we have a whole bunch of gearheads. And uh, they're all having a grand old time partying as per usual. Welcome to the Horizon Festival. Woo! So when can I get started? Hopefully right now. Okay, I pull up in the- OH! No way! No way! I get to pick my own driver this game? Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy right here. Maybe. Actually? Yeah, yeah. This is the one I want. Yes. Do they have my name? They, I think I passed it. Wait, did I? <gasps> they do have my name! <gasps> Yes, that is my name. George is my name. Yeah, I'm the festival boss. Hello, everyone. I am here. I am your lord and savior. I am Car Jesus. <laughs> oh, look at them sweet rides. Uh, which one do I get? Can I get all of the above? Can you just give them all to me, please? I want them all. Probably buy them all eventually. I'm gonna be all over this game. Oh my god. No, what? 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 You show me those three cars and then you say, you know what? Here you go. Take this piece of shit. What is this thing? 
Horizon presents off the chain. Okay, oh, okay, Mr. Fancy. Hall. What's going on? Wait, what's up with the what's up with the army jeep? What's going on here? Now they're bringing a cargo bob. What are you doing? What I said it wasn't easy. I was said it was it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where are you going, guy? Where are you going? All right, you know what? Hold up. So I fast forwarded a little bit, going into this race, and apparently I have to race this uh, this jeep attached to this cargo bob. Oh shit! Oh, oh, I hope you got that. Oh, all right. I'm not even gonna lie. It was pretty cool. Still don't like this car though. Look at this. What are those three fans on the back? What the hell? That's no engine. It's a go kart. <laughs> what? What is this thing? This is a dirt derby. That's not what I'm trying to do. It's not what I'm here. See, this is the whole thing. About them pushing the whole. Oh, I passed you at the last second. Wow! And I win. Oh, yo, Jeep can suck it. This is what I was talking about them. Uh, what I was saying before. This is what I was talking about about them uh, pushing the whole, you know, cross country off road thing. It's not really my thing, but you know, there's a lot of people that come into this game solely for that. So I'm not bashing on it. You know, there's there's something out there for everybody. But uh, if you like the whole off-road aspect thing, you definitely will like Forza Horizon 3. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it, but uh, so far I'm really liking it. You know, the car selection is really huge. And uh, Kira might want you to drive the Centenar. Oh, really? I get to drive my baby again? Wow! All right, let's see this. All right, I don't know where I have to go, but uh, this car, oh my god, you know, I, you know, I used it in the intro and I'm using it now. This is not a drifter at all. Like, this, this thing needs to uh, grip the road, and uh, I love race cars that grip the road. Because I'm all for someone who loves making uh, sharp turns at high speeds. Like, that's all me. I love doing that. You know, drifting... You know, it's a, it's a great way to turn without losing much speed, but you still have to, you know, get your launch back post-drift. So, like me, I just love sticking to the road and just look at these turns. Look at that. Look at that. How do you... I'm driving at, you know, 130-something miles an hour, and I'm making these insanely sharp turns, you know, without braking whatsoever. 175, and look at this. I'm about to get this. Oh, you see that? See that sharp turn? I love making turns like that. That's what I'm all about. That's why I'm the tarmac racer. That's why this Centenario is probably going to find a place in my garage later on. Ooh, is that you, Mike? Is that you? Oh, my God. Looks like I'm challenging you to be one of my drivers. Okay. Let's go, Mike. Come on. Be LSXL. Okay. Now, he's in a LaFerrari. Which means it's the old Lambo Ferrari rivalry. Okay. See now I can't seem to get a pass on him, so I gotta, you know, resort to drafting. Hopefully, you know, with the draft I can get a slingshot off of him, but for some reason he just took off like a rocket, yo. That's a Moses quote from Rockstar. Midnight Club 2. Anyways, oh it looks like I'm gated on him. Oh, oh Mike! Later Mike! I'm going a good 208 right now. Jesus. Look at this speed. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm flying. Topped out at 215 over there. He was about to pass me, but I think I won this one. Oh snap. I won it. That one's mine. Drive a tar ready to recruit. Hey, Mike. One of my drivers now. You're hired. This dude's already made $781,000. That's nuts. Well, this guy, he started a little later than I did, but uh, now he's my crew member, so now I have to drive back to the beach. All right, what's at the beach? Let's go and find out. So far, I'm really liking this game. So far, I'm really liking it. There's a couple of things I'll address as I see them later, if there is. You know, there's always going to be. You know, I hate being that guy, but, you know, I never, ever expect the perfect game. There's always going to be something that, uh, 
it kind of like he's like eh see one of the things that I actually observed when I was first playing this was they still haven't brought back you know the gift car option that was one of the things that you know most Forza Horizon fans were really hoping that people would bring back because you know it really encouraged pink slip racing okay, all right you know what I'll get back to that in a bit I have to pick my car real quick. So I have BMW M4, Sylvia R Spec, HSV. HSV is actually an Australian uh, car manufacturer, so I guess that's why they put it in there because, you know, it's based in Australia. But we got a GT350R, Nissan Sylvia Spec R, and that HSV, which is far from my choice. I think I'm going to go between the Sylvia or the uh, BMW, one of these two. Let's see, this one or that one? I'm going to go Beamer. I'm going to go Beamer. Just because I have one in real life and I'm biased. And uh, it looks like this thing will do better anyway. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to go with you. I have faith in the Beamer. Get in car and let's get right into the race. Nighttime and we are off. My first race in my first car. And you get it for free, you don't even have to buy it, so just pick whichever car you feel in the very beginning suits you best, because I, every one of them is free, it's all up to the user's uh, preferences. If you want you know, a more exotic all around, I recommend the BMW. If you want more of a drifter handler, you may want to go with the Sylvia, although I do warn you that's a ricer, as amazing and race car -y it looks, it it's meant to look a lot faster than it actually is. That thing, one of my friends was actually telling me he picked the Soviet. He's like, do you understand what that sounds like? It sounds like, burr, burr. <laughs> It's like, why? Why did I pick this car? I'm like, well, it looked nice. So that's, that's probably why you thought it was really fast and you picked it. But uh, my BMW, as I'm driving it right now and it's, you know, very good all around you know it sticks to the road very well it has pretty good acceleration and this is all stock you know i haven't even tuned it and it's doing a pretty good job right now i'm just having a little trouble with this mercy right in front of me no no not mercy from overwatch no 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 stefan no alex no this is mercy mercedes thank you for anyone who didn't know I think I'm about to win this one. Hold on. Awesome clean racing. Yeah. I try to clean race as well as I can, but if there has to come a time where I have to like play a little dirty to make take the lead, I, I will. Because this isn't a full simulation game. This is kind of a hybrid between an arcade racer and a simulation racer, and I think that's why a lot of people like this game to begin with. Because of the huge car selection, the open world, and that, you know, they're the fine line between the two which I appreciate a whole lot. So what did I win? I won 5,991 experience points, and I got a couple of fans, a couple thousand fans. Nice. Woo! So let me fast forward a bit. And uh, they're giving me the option of an SUV, so uh, I ended up picking the uh, Lamborghini Urus. And... Uh, you may come to a couple of choices. I think there's a Jeep SRT8. There's the Porsche SUV. And then there's this one. And this one's stats completely dominate the others. So this one's the Lamborghini Urus is just a clear choice for when you get to this part of the game. So I picked it. Now let's get into the race. Oh, here's one of the things I wanted to mention. So I was in this race you see right here. And uh, one of the things that pisses me off the most about cross country is you can be on the right path in second place on the second lap and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna pass you, I'm gonna pass you, I'm gonna pass you, then boom, 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 no coming back from that. I may as well restart because you crash once and that's it. Now, you have the rewind option, but I don't like playing with that, it's just... I'm, I'm a really big car game player, so, you know, using rewind is like an insult to my skills. But so is hitting the corner of a house while you're in second place about to pass the leader. So that's another embarrassing. So that's, that's the thing I wanted to mention about, you know, cross-country racing is 
basically, if someone were to ask me what cross-country racing in this game could be related to, I'd say, imagine playing Russian Roulette with your environment. That's literally what it is. And I don't mind the whole off-road aspect, but the biggest problem is you could be going through a forest of trees and you're just like, oh, which tree is breakable and which one is it? Hey, guess what? You won't find out until you hit it. Some of them will get knocked down, but some of them will stop you from 150 down to zero immediately. And you wouldn't be able to differentiate which trees those are. That's the problem. That's one of the things that I wanted to address about this game is that if you're going to make a cross-country race and there's going to be a lot of obstacles there, you either should make them all breakable or all non-breakable. Don't have a mixture between the two because then you have to come down to a decision of, oh, which, which way do I go? You know, Do I hit this tree or do I hit that tree? Which one's going to stop me and which one am I going to manage to get through? You know, that's a problem, you know, and in a short race like this, when you only have two laps to get from eighth place to first, I know I'm, that sounds a little easy, but it's not like these drivers are very smart AI drivers and you have to really coordinate your passes very, very well. You know, you know, there's a short turn coming up and I know they're going to break over there. This is my chance to gas it a little bit. I may hit the wall a little bit but I can pass them. That's the that's the issue. So if you're like planning all this on how to pass your next opponent and then boom, you hit a tree right there and you're stopped and next thing you know, Mario Kart, eight people just pass you in the moment you're trying to get out of that stick up. You're just like, oh, well, you know what? I may as well restart. So there was my Urus race. I, I really wasn't doing well, and I was like, you know what, screw the first place, I'll settle for second this time. I usually don't, but this race was just frustrating me so much with the trees and the edges of the houses, and I was just hitting everything left and right, and I'm just like, ugh, you know what, screw it. But anyways, let's go back to the shop, I wanted to take a look at the horns over here. Apparently you can customize horns in this game, there weren't any horns in, uh, the other Forza Horizons, but you have musical horns, you have La Cucaracha, and then... No! No! <laughs> no! No! They have the Halo theme, full as a horn. Can you imagine pulling up to someone and honking that shit? That'd be the funniest thing. Anyways, this is Battle Tendency. This is my first impression review. Ultimately, I say this game is worth the pickup. If you're a car lover, definitely pick up this game. If you're trying to get into car games, I also recommend picking up this game. So overall, I say it's a good game. It does have a couple of things in there, but I do recommend it. It is a pretty sweet game. I am enjoying it, and I'm going to enjoy it for the weeks coming. This is Striker from Battle Tendency, signing off.